The start-stop system in Audi vehicles helps to save fuel and reduce CO2 emissions. On vehicles with an automatic gearbox, the start-stop system switches off the engine if you bring the vehicle to a standstill by actuating and holding down the brake pedal. The display in the instrument cluster shows that the engine is in standby mode. When you wish to continue driving, simply release the brake pedal and the engine will switch on again. On vehicles with a manual gearbox, the system works in a similar way. Bring the vehicle to a standstill and move the gear lever into neutral. Release the clutch pedal and the engine will switch off. In this case too, you will see the green indicator lamp in the instrument cluster showing you that the engine is in standby mode. When you wish to continue driving, simply press the clutch pedal and the engine will switch on again. The green indicator lamp in the instrument cluster goes out. The start-stop system only works when the driver's door and the bonnet are closed, when the driver's seat belt is fastened, and when the vehicle has been driven faster than 4 km per hour since its last stop. The system does not work if a trailer is attached to the vehicle. The start-stop system can also be switched off via a button. The engine will not switch off if the operating temperature of the engine or the selected interior temperature has not been reached. If the ambient temperature is very high or very low, or if the windscreen is currently being defrosted, this will also prevent the engine from being switched off. The engine will also not be switched off if the park assist system is active. If the charge level of the battery is too low, if the steering wheel is turned at a sharp angle, if reverse gear has been selected, or if the vehicle is on a steep incline. This symbol is displayed for the driver when one or more requirements for an automatic engine stop are not fulfilled. When in the stop condition, the engine can also switch on again automatically. This happens if the vehicle rolls, the windscreen is being defrosted, the interior temperature deviates significantly from the selected temperature, the brake pedal is actuated several times in succession, or the power consumption is too high. More information about the start-stop system can be found in the owner's manual.